I was told, unless I withdraw this motion, that the Prime Minister himself said that he would look upon it very dimly indeed. Well, I have a message for the Whips and for the Prime Minister of our country, and I didn't pick a fight with the Prime Minister of our country, but I have a message. I may just be a little council house lad with, from a very poor background, but that background gives me a backbone, it gives, it gives me a thick skin, and I'm not going to be kowtowed by the Whips or even the Prime Minister of my country on an issue that I feel passionately about, that I have conviction about. And that little lad from the council house joins us now, Mark Pritchard. Welcome back to the programme. Hi, Andrew. Uh, so are you getting your way in the end? Well, I'm just delighted the government is finally bringing about the ban. You know, uh, the last government didn't do it. Credit to this government. It is introducing an outright ban from 2015. I think it's a great day for animal welfare. And I'd like to, you know, it's not about me. It's all the animal welfare charities that have campaigned over many years. Newspapers like the Independent Newspaper. Uh, my constituents have been a huge support. And I think together, uh, uh, and the government's listened uh, to the public uh, opinion, 96% want to see an outright ban. Uh, so it's a good day for animal welfare, 96%. a good day for the government, 96%, good day for animal welfare, good day for the government, because the government has listened. But on that clip we showed you, the kind of the, the heavies were putting the moves on you to stop you uh, proselytising this idea. Now you're saying the government's for it and going ahead with it. What changed? Well, I think um, the government took the view that the unanimous support of the House of Commons still mattered. Uh, they said that they would resp uh, respect the will of Parliament. Uh, they uh, have taken on board public opinion. I think a lot of people have written to number 10 since that debate, setting out their own uh, views. Uh, and a lot of us have been working behind the scenes with officials with ministers, but I come back, credit where it's due, the government have listened, they're bringing forward this ban, the last government did not bring forward the ban, it is this government that's bringing forward the ban, it's a good day for animal welfare. I'm just confused, where, where's the politics and where's the policy in trying to stop you doing what you were trying to do? It's not well, a huge constituency well, of why, circus why owners. Why are they and, so upset? Yeah, and the previous government. I, I, what, I don't what, know, what? that's still a mystery, but it, it, you know, that's history. That's no, history. No, I'm just interested, yeah. why? why? What, what was the, well, I think that's a question. Uh, that's qu a question for historians and uh, distinguished journalists. You're still like, with like, one eye like, open, in case you know, they come and get no, you. No, no, no I'm, not, I, I'm not afraid of the whips. I respect the whips, but I'm not afraid of them, and I think they, they know that. Is, I think I think the whips, and of course many of them have moved into now ministerial positions and and gone onto the back benches. So we have a different whips office now. But I I think the the whips realise, uh, or most whips uh, realise, if they're sensible, it's best to work alongside colleagues uh, uh, to. Um, uh, work with colleagues uh, wherever possible uh, with, uh, without resorting uh, to alternative tactics right. that but are sometimes unhelpful. Yeah. Will it mean, it must mean the end of circuses as we've known them? No, not at all. I mean, uh, you're a well-travelled man, Andrew, and you'll know that there are many successful commercial circuses around the world, Cirque du Soleil, uh, and other circuses, you know, for example, Oblivia has just banned wild animals as circuses, Austria, uh, one or two other... Them, I think. Uh, uh, no, they don't. They don't. Uh, um, uh, the French uh, banned it some mm -hmm. time ago. I'm sure somebody will email me if I'm wrong, but uh, nevertheless, Cirque du Soleil, uh, uh, a very, very but the, but the uh, idea successful. of a circus, which kids will oh. still see in the movies of... Uh, uh, of wild animals and the, the, yeah. the lion tamer in the cage. Billy the Smart elephants. Circus. The Billy Smart yeah. Circus yeah. stuff, which is still, you see in many movies yeah. as well, and particularly of Barnum and Bailey. That will be over with. Well, us. that might seem sort of uh, a quaint, and I remember going to circuses where when I, when I was young, I had no choice, sort of dragged along. And, um, uh, but a, a lot of these animals are transported and housed in cruel and cramped conditions. Cool. I, I'm not arguing. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying it is the. Well, the, the well, no, what, what will happen to yeah. the? What will happen to the elephants? Well, well, I, well first of all, I don't accept tigers. it will be the end of circuses. I think the circuses no, will I, need I'm to adapt. No, I'm saying it will be the yeah. end yeah. of circuses yeah. as we've known. It. Yes, it will, uh, circuses will uh, uh, develop in a new way uh, and change the way they do so things. So what will happen to the animals? Well, I, I hope the animals will be rehoused, rehoned, put into rescue centres. Doesn't but the legislation what, but, take but, care of that? Uh, no. Well, these are the details that will be worked out, no doubt, with the DEFRA committee and with DEFRA itself. But what is clear, from 2015 onwards, we will not have a new generation of wild animals being exploited for profit in this country. It's a good day for animal welfare. And okay. from the party of William Wilberforce, it's a proud day for the Conservative Party.